Hi, it's Heron from the Westport River Watershed Alliance and we're going to finish up our lesson that you've been doing this year on the science of birds and learning all about um, the different things that birds have and which make them special to adapt to their habitat. And to finish it off, we are going to look for some birds and see if you can find their field marks and identify the species of the so this one is a little brown bird and it has a spot in the middle and it's just singing its song for you. Here's the next one. It's the state bird of Massachusetts. For field marks, it has a black cap, white belly, black chin. That's a small bird. All right, here's the next bird, and it has some very distinct markings with the yellow feathers and the black wings and a little bit of black right near its forehead. All right, this one's difficult to see, but hopefully it will give us some of its song that will help us to tell what the bird is. There it goes. So some of the field marks are the sound that it's making. So this bird is mostly gray with a long tail and kind of a big body. Here's another one with some great field marks. In the front it has a reddish brown colored chest and belly. It has a yellow beak. It has white around the eye. And then the head and back and tail are gray. And it's even making its little call for you. Can you see who's hiding in the tree over there? This is a much bigger bird and it gets mobbed by little birds when it sits someplace because they're afraid it's going to go to their nests and do some something bad to their nests. So they usually mob a bird like this when they see it, which means the little birds group up together and fly into it like that. So we have some bigger birds that are easy to identify just because of their shape, um, what they're doing, because they're wading in the water looking for some fish to eat. And you can compare, there's one that's a little smaller than the rest of them. So there's actually two different kinds of birds in the water over here. can see right there one is much smaller than the other which is good to have two to compare side by side. This bird is a little bit far away but it's such a bright color that you can probably tell this one just by looking at it from afar. It does have black around its face and a crest. This bird's not one that we've really learned about before, but it has some of the same field marks, like a um, cardinal or something like that, because it has the crest that goes up, and then it has a little bit around its face, but it also has a yellow dipped on its wings, which is tough to see with the lighting we have. Oh, you can see its little tail dipped in yellow. So 
so that's an identifying field mark. So here's another big bird. It's mostly black, black beak, and it doesn't have the most musical sound that it's making. It does have a yellow eye, if you can see that. And then the shape of the tail is kind of rounded. So right now we have another little bird on the feeder. I'm hoping it'll come around to the front and you can see it's kind of brownish but then it has pink which is kind of a distinct color when you're looking for birds and if you can see the tail right there that's pretty cool too you can see it has a pretty flat tail there are two of these kinds of birds that um, look similar and you can tell them apart by the tail So we don't have the best lighting on this bird, but maybe you could tell just by the shape of the beak and what it's drinking. Try to see if you can identify this bird. Thanks for taking your time to learn about the birds and I hope you got a lot of the different kinds of birds correct on um, your bird quiz and hope you keep watching birds and get to see you out on the trails looking for things uh, in the future. Thanks.